Has your life been a complicated mess lately? Well, maybe all you need is to take a stroll back to the simple life. Feel the breeze of the Great Lakes on your face, soaking up the nature of pure western Michigan. Today, we go to the eastern shores of Lake Michigan and explore the Dutch city of Holland, situated around Lake Makatawa. This is one of the most colorful regions in the country, known for its tulips. It is also a haven for water recreational opportunities. Its simple lifestyle, a walk in downtown Holland, exploring shops and eateries in an old world architecture, or experience the Dutch heritage on Windmill Island or at Neil's Dutch farm. Bella will then sail the high seas while I show you Ottawa Beach, Tunnel Park, Port Sheldon, and Grand Haven. We then take you to the sand dunes of Sagatuck and explore another quaint beach town with majestic vistas, South Haven. The Holland, Michigan region is not only a great place to visit, but also a great place to live or go to school. So gear it up, Bella. Ahoy, matey! Journey with us by boat, by drone, by car, and by bike. We explore Holland, Grand Haven, Sagatuck, South Haven, beautiful and pure Michigan. Windmill Island is a mile and a half northeast of historic downtown. It has the only authentic Dutch windmill in the U.S. It is the iconic symbol of Holland. You can take a guided tour of the mill and see the milling process take place. From the fourth floor deck, you can survey 36 acres of manicured gardens, dikes, and canals. Walk the village and see an Amsterdam street organ, a Dutch carousel. There are children's playground areas and horses in the back pasture. In the spring, you can see more than 100,000 tulips in bloom. Windmill Island can also be rented for weddings and events. Just on the other side of the North River Bridge from Windmill Island is Howard B. Dunton Park, where there is plenty of trees, a playground, or a really nice pier, a boat launch that is close to downtown. It is here where you can ride the Holland Princess, a 65-foot Victorian-style paddle-wheel river boat. It has two cruises a day with the exception of Mondays and Thursdays from spring to fall. It is $60 for adult and $35 per child. The Holland Princess sails at Lake Makatawa in Lake Michigan. We'll show more of the boating in the lakes later in the video, but for now, let's explore downtown. Window on the waterfront at Riverview Park, across the river from Windmill Island, along the south edge of the Makatawa Marsh, is a colorful sight to see in the spring with 100,000 tulips blooming in season. In the winter, it is the location of an ice skating rink. We were here in July, so most of the tulips were already gone. Centennial Park is on the edge of the historic district. It has a 20-foot rock fountain placed at the park by a Dutch immigrant. Plenty of benches throughout the park. Colorful gardens, lots of trees, a gazebo, and Victorian lighting at night. A very colorful scenic area for pictures. We now move to the center of historic downtown on 8th Street. Holland is a patriotic town, very appreciative of its veterans. From boutique shops, eateries, family-friendly events, cultural attractions, downtown is a great place to hang out in with plenty of benches, trees. A great place to begin your stroll in downtown is at Ferris Coffee Shop. Delicious vanilla latte. Mmm. Looking for a hotel in the middle of historic district? The Courtyard by Marriott. Hops at 84 East with a brick oven pizza and craft beer. Across the street is Kira's Irish Pub, a horse racing themed pub with dancing to Irish music. Most of the buildings in downtown are two and three story commercial structures built in the late 19th and early 20th centuries with brick, stone, and terracotta facades, a mixture of late Victorian and Renaissance revival architecture. For dessert, try some chocolates and ice cream at Kilwins, or a healthy option, some frozen yogurt or gelato at Peach Wave. 
find original paintings at the Lake Effect Gallery. A popular restaurant, but you want to get there early, is the Windmill, where you can get breakfast all day. The Clock Tower building, originally built in 1892, now the home of Jean Marie's, a women's apparel store. Experience a little bit of the Netherlands at Neil's Dutch Village, where you can enjoy Dutch-themed outdoor rides, learn how to clomp and dance, pet a bunny, feed goats, get up close to a llama. Make sure you come, though, on an empty stomach, as you can enjoy Dutch food at the Hungry Dutchman Cafe, or taste imported Dutch cheese, or homemade peanut brittle and Dutch fudge, ice cream, cookies, coffee, tea. Tickets are $14 for adults, $12 for children ages 3 to 15. Well worth the money. A mile south of Neil's Dutch Village is Sunday Sunday Golf, a Dutch-themed mini-golf. We now head down East 32nd Street as we head towards a lakeside park. I figure it'd give you a chance to see some of the residential areas of Holland. Holland has 23 parks. We've shown you two of them. Colon Park is on the south side of Lake Makatawa. It has a waterfront walkway, a boat launch, gazebo, cover pavilion, water fountain, fishing decks, boardwalk, and a playground. Next door to Colon Park is the Boatworks Waterfront Restaurant. We are now going to head up the north side of Lake Makatawa to Ottawa Beach. The majority of things to do are on the north side of the lake. The Stu Visser Trails with rustic boardwalks takes you into the natural raw beauty of the wetlands of Holland. You can access the trails either from Ottawa Beach Road or Lakewood Boulevard. They are pet friendly. This is as green as it looks on video. Next to the Ottawa County Fairgrounds is the Park Township Skate Park. There is also a playground, picnic shelter, and dog park here. We arrive at two large marinas on Ottawa Beach Road. First, Anchorage Marina with a lounge where you can get crab cakes, pizza, or burgers and sit on the upper deck with a great view of Big Bay. Closed Mondays and Tuesdays. A clubhouse which requires being a member has a game room and heated pool. Next is Yacht Basin Marina where you can get gluten-free Mexican pizza at Lolo's Bar and Grill or stay in a vacation rental for parties up to 12 people with a conference center that can host weddings and events with a pool, salon, and spa. In between the two marinas is a boat launch and Holland Water Sports, where you can rent jet skis, power boats, and pontoons. We are gonna rent our pontoon on the other side of the river. We reach Holland State Park, great area for bicycling, with a path on both sides of the road. We'll hop on the bike later and show you more, but now let's get on the boat. We head over to the south side of Lake Makatawa, where you can rent the bungalow, a lakeside home overlooking the harbor. We choose one Adventure Rentals, which is located in this trailer for our pontoon boat. They were cheaper than the places on the north side of the river and had no issues at all. It was 165 an hour for this 20-foot pontoon and $25 to bring your dog. You can also rent kayaks here. As we head out on the Holland Harbor Channel, we enter the Ottawa State Beach area. The entrance into Ottawa Beach by car is $5 for Michigan residents and $9 for out-of-state. 
but it is well worth it. Picnic areas with trees for shade as people chill and watch the boat sail through the channel. A bike path through the sand. The Holland Harbor Light, known as the Big Red Lighthouse, opened in 1872. While it is on the south side, you also get a great view from the north side as well. Most of the south side is vacation rentals and private property. There is a boardwalk on the north side. You can walk all the way out over the jetties, popular for fishing. Now, if we continue across Lake Michigan to the southwest, we would be in Chicago in 95 miles. There are two ferries that go across Lake Michigan. The fastest is the Lake Express, which goes from Muskegon, Michigan to Milwaukee. It takes two and a half hours. Or the SS Badger, which goes from Ludington, Michigan to Manitowoc, Wisconsin. It takes about four hours. Okay, Bella is gonna drive the boat while I fly the drone and show you some of the beach. Ottawa Beach is one of the most popular beaches in Michigan. It can get crowded on certain days, so it is good to get there early in the day, especially on July 4th weekend like we are. At times, the seaweed and algae can be heavy, but the advantage to Ottawa Beach is there are good concessions here with an ice cream shop. There is a new playground, volleyball courts, and also two modern campgrounds and paddleboat rentals. If you want to live on the beach here, just north of Ottawa Beach is Spyglass Condos, and further down is Tunnel Beach, which we will show just a little bit later. For now, let's head back to south of the channel. The beach house at Makatawa Park is just 200 yards from the lighthouse, a row of charming historic cottages. It allows you to listen to the waves rolling over the sand as you lie in bed in the morning. Sound good? Back through the harbor on the north side is the Black Lake Boardwalk. Black Lake is the former name of Lake Makatawa. It was changed in 1935. I think that sounds much better than Black Lake. It has nice long boardwalks, great for fishing and biking. Looking for cottages on the north side of the lake? The Gables Cottage Rentals are walking distance to the beach and can be rented on lakem.com. You can get espresso donuts ice cream at the old fashioned general store, a Holland tradition. Across the street is Dune Dogs. Mount Pisgah is a 157 foot sand dune, which you can climb via a boardwalk stair system. It gives you a great view of Lake Makatawa. Just a great area for recreational bicycling. Check out more of the homes. The Makatawa Boathouse is where you can rent kayaks and paddle boards. Across the street is the Oak Grove Resort and Campground with full RV hookups, modern cabins, playground, free bike rentals, and a heated pool and hot tub. We now head north to Lakeshore Avenue to Tunnel Park. Lakeshore Avenue is really a beautiful drive all the way up to Grand Haven. Tunnel Park is a 22 acre preserve with a swimming beach, picnic shelters, four sand volleyball courts, horseshoe pit, vending machines, and a large playground area. You can get to the beach by a sand dune climb stairway with scenic views of Lake Michigan, or go through the tunnel, which gives this park its name. The Lakeshore Trail runs alongside of Lakeshore Avenue uninterrupted for 20 miles from Holland to Grand Haven. Nine miles north of Ottawa Beach is Port Sheldon and Pigeon Lake. This is one of the more popular spots for kayaking and canoeing. After 6.30 there is no wake on Pigeon Lake, which makes it a great place to paddle and take in the sunset. It is also a popular fishing port. We 
We arrive in Grand Haven, an old-fashioned town that combines small-town living with big lake waterfront activities, a haven for boaters. Located at the mouth of the Grand River, the longest river in Michigan at 252 miles long, it flows through Grand Rapids, which we will show next week. Grand Haven has over 100 miles of bike trails. It is a popular staycation destination for residents of Michigan's inland cities. The water temperature in the summer is in the low 70s. Downtown, like Holland, a historic popular place for dining and shopping, but more of a nightlife here than what you would see in Holland. The Grand Haven Theater Bar, a martini bar with live music with a delight bar and grill next door. Also the Kirby House Restaurant with live music and second floor water views. Grand Haven is popular for fishing charters, like Black Label Sports Fishing Charters, located near the Chinook Pier. The Chinook Pier Park is a great hangout, easy to find. Look for the old coal tower and the Pier Marquette locomotive. The Grand Haven Farmer's Market is here from May through October. Just recently opened up again after the COVID-19 shutdown. This is a beautiful park. It overlooks Grand Haven Boardwalk and Municipal Marina. A must-do after sunset is the Grand Haven Musical Fountain, a synchronized display of water and lights on Dewey Hill on the north side of the river, but you view it at Lynn Sherwood Waterfront Stadium on the south side of the river. The shows have been put on hold during COVID-19, but normally runs nightly from Memorial Day through Labor Day. I have to say the Grand Haven Boardwalks is one of the nicest waterfront areas in the country. It is 1.5 miles long from the Chinook Pier to the catwalk of the Pier and Lighthouse. Grand Haven has been given the honorable title of Coast Guard City USA with a major Coast Guard station here next to Escanaba Park with the red paved sidewalk. There is ice cream available at the Pier Peddler here and you can learn about the history of the Coast Guard in the park. The Grand Haven Pier is a great place for catching the sunset. You can also camp here with RV parking. There are two lighthouses on the Grand Haven South Pier connected by a lighted catwalk. This is one of the most photographed lighthouses in Michigan. We did a video two years ago of the lighthouses around the state of Michigan if you would like to see more lighthouses. We now head 10 miles south of Holland to Sagatuck, named one of 10 all-star American beach towns by Coastal Living Magazine. It has a quaint beach town atmosphere. Sagatuck is where you can really get back to nature. And one of the best ways to do that is to take a Sagatuck Dune ride. For $22 for adult or $12 for children ages 2 to 11, you can ride out in the dunes of Allegan County. We cross the Kalamazoo Lake on the Blue Star Highway. The Big Red Dock Cafe is a quirky hangout offering American pub grub and full bar. Try an accommodation literally on the water on the Sea Suites Bed and Breakfast luxury yacht. One of the best ways to tour Sagatuck is a two hour tall ship cruise on the Schooner Serenity. The sunset cruise is $49 for adult or an afternoon sail for $39. We drive up the west side of the Kalamazoo River heading towards Oval Beach. Most of the restaurant shops and cottages are in the downtown area on the east side of the river. You can take a chain ferry for $2 to travel across the river, the only operating chain ferry in the country. It departs each dock every 10 to 15 minutes. It is run by the Star of Sagatuck, which also offers daily cruises on a paddle wheel boat. The Beachway Resort is the closest resort to Oval Beach on Perryman Street. To get to the beach, you can either drive up on Perryman Street or you can also climb 302 steps up Mount Baldhead. And on the other side, descend into the grassy coastal sands of Oval Beach. 
Ovo Beach was voted one of Condé Nast Traveler's top 25 beaches in the world. The daily entrance fee is $10. It has easy parking concessions and a picnic area. South Haven is 30 minutes south of Holland, another vintage downtown. So many neat places to visit, like the 12 Corners Vineyards Tasting Room on the right, or Clementine's, a restaurant in an 1800s saloon with seafood and American food. Or grab an espresso and pastry at the Golden Bakery. Nestled on the banks of the Black River, the South Haven Riverfront is host to a variety of musical performances, from jazz, classical, to folk, contemporary, and are free to the public. Viewers can relax on a gently sloped hill while watching the musicians as well as the boats going through the harbor. Riverfront Park is just beyond the South Haven South Municipal Marina. It also hosts public events as grills, picnic areas, shelter, and a great place for taking a stroll to the lighthouse with picnic tables along the boardwalk. The North Beach is $10 to enter, always highly reviewed. The South Beach is also $10 to park. As well as grills, picnic area, and playground, it also has the boardwalk to the lighthouse. Both North Beach and South Beach not as crowded as Ottawa Beach. The South Haven South Pierhead Light, first lit in 1872. This steel lighthouse was built in 1903, replaced an earlier lighthouse built of wood. In 1925, the steel catwalk was installed and extended to 1,200 feet in 1940. If you are looking for a sporting adventure, relaxation, or just a good time fishing, check out the South Haven Fishing Charters. Also, the Admiral Jack's Bar and Grill, where you can sit right on a boat while enjoying a meal and a great view of the Black River. South Haven is ideal for a quick trip from many areas. It's five hours from Cincinnati, two hours from Chicago, and a little over three hours from Indy. For more info on events in Western Michigan, see the Shoreline Visitor's Guide for all the fun from Muskegon to South Haven. For the five days we were in the Holland's Grand Rapids area, we ate at the Shanghai restaurant in Holland every day great Chinese and Japanese food, and it's walking distance of three hotels, the Quality Inn next door, and the Pet Friendly Days Inn and Microtel Hotel across the street, all within five minutes of downtown. The Hall in Grand Haven, South Haven area is one of the best places to live in Michigan. As we have shown you, there are a lot of parks, good schools, a safe family-friendly atmosphere, a variety of fine dining, and as you can see, some of the best water recreation in the country. If you are looking to move a business or have a business in the Holland region, the experts at Colliers International will partner with you to accelerate the success of your commercial property and help you to achieve your business goals. Holland has come a long way since its Dutch settlers first landed here in 1847. It has uniquely kept much of its old world charm, originating from the Netherlands, yet has also grown with modern conveniences and still maintaining its heritage. There is a lot we can learn from those immigrants. The simplicity of life, respecting our heritage, family values, and boldly moving into the future. Whether it's Holland, Grand Haven, Sagatuck, or South Haven, whether you are coming here to visit or to live, I think you might find just what you're looking for on Michigan's West Coast. We have listed addresses and links in the description below so that you can plan your coastal Michigan getaway. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We shoot travel promos across the USA. For licensing or stock footage, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com. Next week, we travel inland to Grand Rapids. Subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you for watching.